friends, it's Amber Michelle. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm at a stoplight because I'm on my way to get my blood glucose test done. Uh, this is my eighth go round with the good old blood glucose. I have never had uh, to take the three hour test. I usually deal more with a lower blood sugar. So, all right, it's green. I gotta get going. Um, but I'm gonna take you guys along to see exactly uh, how this goes and hopefully I can record in there. So I have about a good 30 minute ride uh, to our hospital and doctor's office. So uh, my appointment's at 10.30, it's like 10.23 now. And I'm not gonna have a whole lot of time to chit chat, but I am gonna be sitting in the office for an hour. Do have to wear a mask and can only go by myself so it's only the patients that are allowed in uh, still at this point, which I'm hoping things change before this baby comes off till the 4th of October. And um, it would be really nice for things to feel somewhat normal, but I don't have my hopes up too high at this point. All right, I made it here safe and sound. And usually it's so hard to find a parking spot here. We have uh, at this specific like facility or whatever there's multiple doctors and multiple practices so it's like uh really hard to get a parking spot but it was easy today so yay that's awesome and i'm gonna head in there and get this thing going Okay, so that is done. And they told me that I will get those test results tomorrow if I need the three hour, they'll call. If not, they won't call. So no call is good news in this instance. Um, how did the appointment go? Took her a minute to find baby's heartbeat. And that's funny for 24 weeks, but I can tell he's like in a low position. And I think that was where the problem came in but his heart rate was 157 and he was moving the whole time. You could see him kicking uh, while she was looking for the heartbeat. And then I've gained two pounds in the last four weeks for a total of six pounds, which if you've watched any of my other videos, I've talked about how um, I'm definitely on the higher end. I usually gain a whole bunch of weight when I'm on the low end um, during pregnancy, but I'm already on the very high end of my weight so um, I'm she told me it was totally fine that I only gained a few pounds and I'm hoping to kind of keep it that way not let it get out of control and um, besides that I think everything else went good blood pressure was good even though like I ran got up there drank the drink went to the restroom and they called me right away so it's like you like doing all these things really fast and then you have to have your blood pressure taken so that's not always good but um the doctor said it was all fine and good so yay I will let you know uh how these results come out if I don't get a call tomorrow good news okay friends so it's the next day um I waited all the way till they closed to see if I was gonna get a call, which would have been four o'clock. And we are about to head out to Samuel's ball game. He has uh, a game tonight, which will be nice because the past few nights it has been, or days, it has been super hot for the games, but this later game is at 7.15, so it's gonna be cooler. Uh, no information was good information on the glucose test, so that means that I did pass and do not have gestational diabetes. I am so excited about that, of course. I never have before in any of my other seven pregnancies or have had to take the three hour test. Um, also, 
wanted to give you guys an update on how pregnancy has been. So I am currently 24 weeks and um, I still am dealing with some of the weakness that I have dealt with. This is new to any of the other pregnancies that I've had before. So it's been um, weird and interesting, but it has gotten significantly better since about 18 weeks. And a few days ago, I had like a perfect day, which means I had no heart palpitations, um, zero weakness and went hard cleaning and working, uh, which is normally what I kind of do most of the time anyway but it just makes it so much easier when you feel really good. Also, uh, another thing is normally at this point, I have a big appetite increase and I really haven't noticed a crazy appetite increase. At times I get hungry. I am still nursing my uh, two-year-old Magnolia and hey baby. And um, between that, I don't know. I started putting collagen in my coffee every day, which is collagen is something I've been taking for a couple of years now on and off uh, to help with just a lot of different things. And hair growth, eyelashes, um, joints and ligaments, just all those things. And so that is protein based. And so I believe that has helped a little bit, maybe with ap appetite suppression. You can see Samuel swinging behind me. He is so ready for his baseball game. He absolutely loves ball, as does his older brother, Joshua. They are just all into it right now. And baby Maggie, asking him if he's going to baseball. So, um, one thing I have noticed uh, in these last two to four weeks would be that I might be a little more emotional than normal. Uh, hormonal, crying a little more. I'm normally not a big crier. Um, when I'm pregnant with a girl, I do notice a huge difference in when I'm pregnant with a girl and pregnant with a boy. My hormones are very different for a boy to a girl. Oh, the neighbor's dog just started barking. And uh, in that instance, uh, with a girl, it's interesting. And I'm like super emotional. And deal with just a lot of keeping my emotions together but with a boy it's a lot less i do notice a big difference in that i am feeling pretty good i am sleeping good because i'm super tired by the end of each and every day and i'm gonna stand up and give you guys a belly shot okay so there he is and there he is <laughs> and he's excited about him yes he is um, I'm probably going to do a video on baby names, maybe uh, my favorite baby names. And then also when he arrives, we will reveal his full, beautiful name. Haven't really settled on his middle name yet, but we're thinking we know his first name. So there's the bump, there's the baby, and I find not a big difference in how I'm carrying I showed really early this time and like I said I contribute that probably to being that I was already a little overweight for um, my height I am almost 5'9 and so uh, on the low end I like to be around the 150s and I am nowhere or started nowhere near the 150s and that's just what it is so that's where I am now and we'll see how this baby grows. So thank you so much for joining me for this video today. I am enjoying um, sharing this pregnancy with you guys and all of the updates that come along with it and look forward to getting to the nitty gritty and the fun stuff of packing and getting all the things ready for this baby. And so uh, that's it for this video today. Don't forget, whatever you're going through, God is always there. Be blessed. Peace. Peace. Oh, go get Maggie.